Hello friends, I hope you are enjoying Sidecore JSS journey. This video is in continuation with previous video, TypeScript with Sidecore JSS part 1. In this video, we will see some more insights about Sidecore JSS application and create the build for deploying on the Sidecore to run the application via Sidecore JSS view engine or server side rendering. In the previous video, we saw how you can install and integrate TypeScript with Sidecore JSS application. In this video, we will see how you can create the build for the site code from the JSS application having the TypeScript code. I hope your app is already connected with site code. If not, please watch the video getting started with site code JSS. Again, we will follow the blog post by search. The steps shared are pretty clean and detailed, which are easy to go through, but there were some challenges which we will see in this tutorial. Now, we already have TypeScript with JSS application. It's time to create the server build. Let's go to the blog post by search and go to the section called building the server bundle. Now, if you try to deploy your app using JSS deploy app, you also will get the same error. Let's follow the steps given in this post. Rename server.js to server.tsx. Modify server.webpack.config.js to have the proper entry for server.js to server.tsx. Save the file. Rename approot.js to approot.tsx. You can get the approot file in the src folder. Now, ts and tsx won't be understood by Sidecore. It only understands JS file, but we work with .tsx file for the my first component. So when we create a server build, we have to make sure we create the proper server.bundle.js file and do not include any TypeScript code. Server.bundle file is the key file which carry all the code written in the JSS app to the Sidecore to render it properly. Now for the TypeScript compilation for the server bundle, we have to create a new tsconfig.json file in the server folder. Let's get the content from the blog that we are referring. Save the file at the folder called server. Give the name tsconfig.json. Okay, now let's try to deploy an app. This will create the build and store the files in the build folder of your application. Let's keep an eye on this folder. As we can see, the build is properly created, but there are some problem in this build. If you go to the file server.bundle.js and open in Visual Studio Code and look for my first component, you won't find it. If you go to the side core for the changes that you have done, you won't see it because the changes didn't came in the server.bundle.js. I then went to the umbrella sidecore JSS project and tried to see server.webpack.config.js file. This is our config. Let's go to the config for server.webpack.config in the umbrella sidecore JSS project. We need to copy some code from this file. Let's copy the line one.
copy the first rule add ts and dot tsx over here as well as here and one last thing we need to copy the this piece of code make sure you copy after this module save the file and now let's try to create the build Okay, the build is created properly and we see that the server.bundle.js file is now of 1.25 MB. Let's open this file in the Visual Studio code and now look for my first component. We see the code here. Everything is created properly. Now if you go to the site code, we will see our data properly. And we see the caption field. All right. I hope this video will help you to get started for TypeScript with Sitecore JSS. And now you can try to analyze Umbrella JSS project. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our Sitecore journey for more updates.